really good day. I think uh, you guys are out there. You saw it, highly spirited in the red zone. Uh, I, you know what I think I love most about it was that we're learning to uh, the defense held up in some throws. Offense made some plays. No contact throughout. I thought I thought it was really really well handled, and uh, we can build on that too. Plus it was highly competitive. You saw some plays made out there, and uh, that part's good. We'll have another dose of red zone on Thursday. You got, you got guys punt balls left and right. Is there a discipline problem on this? Yeah. <laughs> There's an enthusiasm got, got problem. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good play by most of them. Yeah, it was. You know, a high point like that. Um, you know, whenever it gets in the red zone like that, you see the competitive juices fly a little bit. So it was good to see. What was the benefit of moving Josh Evans to strong in your mind? To... Well, I think he's a guy. You want guys that you, you'll see Leroy Reynolds doing the same thing. He's playing auto. We'll get him some reps at Mike and some reps at Will. Uh, you know, because if they can play all three positions, it just helps them and it helps the team. Same thing with Josh. He's played a lot of free. So now we want to get him a lot of reps that strong to make him more versatile for those times when we only can have maybe three or four safeties up do in you, the game. Do you feel like physically he can handle what like Cyprian has to handle? Yeah. I think, you know what, he's healthy. He's feeling good about his, where his body's at. I think he's stronger. I see him. Uh, it's too bad he's not out there getting all these reps because of, of his poise. He's, I think I'm, I'm starting to see his poise come through now to where he has a real clear understanding. So when you see guys like that, generally they can handle playing multiple positions. How did Blake respond after kind of a rough day yesterday? I thought pretty good. Uh, you know, he came back. I heard him in the huddle talking to players. And, and uh, really it was, it was a challenge to the whole offense to come back. And uh, it's competitive, just like the two minute situation. You know, started off and I think there was a tip ball that led to an interception. Uh, you know, and, and those things happen. But just like in the red zone, defense got up in the points, it was like three to nothing, and then the offense came back and, and had three straight. And, and that's what can happen in games if you keep your head up and you keep believing. And uh, that'll be the lesson for today. Dwayne so, mentioned Jeremy Harris as a guy who's kind of stood out to him. Have, have you seen him show up? Yeah, I think the first two years we were challenging Jeremy, looking for him to show up. And I think this year he's done a better job. I've seen him more of an emphasis in his mind on special teams, and I think it's carrying over to defense. So I just talked to him in pre-stretch about that exact thing that, uh, you know, now people are talking about him and how well he's doing. Do you think, uh, think Marquise works next week or is he shutting him down? Uh, you know what, uh, you know, he seems, I just saw him, you know, he was running pretty good. I'll find out more with their trainers here tonight. Is uh, Clem going to come next week for the match? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll get, I just talked to Washer today to see. He's going to call him today and we'll see. He'll be. I'll love he doesn't want to lose any money. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, man. Most in today's early pick. Yeah. Stepping his game up or what? Yeah. I, you know, I think um, you know he's just been. In, you know, sometimes when you're in the right position and you make plays, it was a great play in the red zone. But uh, that, you know, Dave and I were just talking about that walking off the field. That he's done a nice job. You know, and and sometimes that's what we talk when guys get hurt. You know, with a sample injury, now Lowson gets more reps and he's taking advantage of it. So there's always stories that will take place if guys are in the right mindset and take advantage of it. What's the next step in his development? What's that? Brian Davis, what's the next step in his development? What do you well, want to see consistency. I think, you know what, the danger is you look at that and say, well, he hasn't had many reps, but he's had a lot of productivity in the limited amount of reps, so you want to give him more reps. And I think for us it's just finding that, that level to where he can still perform at a high level but uh, get him involved as much as we can. Does having a couple men on the roster kind of free you up to maybe move Ryan out to Leo a little bit more? Well, yeah, that's, they play completely different positions. You know, so with Michael, we are intrigued by him. I mean, I think it'll be interesting to see how, you know, Ziggy obviously is doing well, but where Derek is at the beginning of the season. I think that will depend on, but I know an individual and, you know, some of the reps he's getting, he's showing up. So just needs more reps.